Hello guys, how are you? This is Omri Ron. I'm an architect from Tel Aviv and in this video tutorial I will teach you what is the best way to use sections in SketchUp. I'm gonna show you a project of mine at Kimmel Eshkolot Architects. It's called Checkpoint Building. We designed it with SketchUp. You can see photos from the construction site and you can see that the exterior of the building is really really special and really really complicated. And if we take a look at the interior of the project, we created uh, beautiful views and beautiful interactions inside the building. We did it with sections that helps us to create and check all those views. And if we gonna take a look at the SketchUp model of this project, you can see that with those scenes tab, I can change the section really, really easily. I can cut it or I can disable the section you see, if I want to see like a floor plan, I can change, uh, I can pick a level zero and I can see the base between the buildings, I can see the auditoriums that we planned. And if I want to cut it on a higher level, I just pick higher level. And this way is really, really easy and it make all the work and all the pro design process really simple. And if I want to check this, uh, <laughs> planetarium I can you see just pick the planetarium section and then sketch up in two seconds show so shows me the area of the planetarium cut and I can take this section to AutoCAD and I can from AutoCAD I just send it to the construction site let's say we're gonna take a look at this section again you remember the main section uh, you can see the stairs and you can see this atrium with all the windows and if we're gonna take a look at the AutoCAD plan, uh, let's say, let's look at the same section, you can see that it's exact the same section. And if you work like this, you can make your work faster and you can make it precise and you can create whatever you want. And so how do I create those sections? I want to open a smaller building right now, this AR house model. If you already have it for my, uh, exterior scene you can just open it right now and if you don't have it you have a link at the bottom of the video you go to Gumroad and then you order this model so if I want to take a look at the interior of the this building the best way is to use sections now when I place sections with SketchUp I need to uh, name the section let's call it L0 for example and I place it on the first floor you see I take it up with the move tool, 200 or 180 centimeters. And then if I want to place another one, I need to disable the section and then place another one. Let's call it L1, like level one. And then I place it on the second floor or first floor. And then I take it up again. You see, it's a lot of work to place it, 200 centimeter. And if I want to Again, I need to remove it. And then if I want another section, let's call it, uh, for example, X or roof. Let's put it over here. And then I want to, this is like a fake section. Okay. I take it up again, 200 centimeter. And then if I want another section, like a real section, I can place it, let's call it uh, set. And I can place it over here. You see, so in SketchUp, it's really easy to place as many sections as you want and move it or toggle it around. But the problem is when you remove the window and it's, it's really complicated to switch between the sections. Like if I check this pull section and then I want to switch to the another section, I need to enable the display section planes button again and then I need to zoom out and then I need to double click or active cut it and then zoom in again and then disable this. It's too slow. I want to design faster. So the best way, when you have a section you like, just save it as a scene. Open the scene tab and then verify that you, th this, this is the section you want. You see, level zero and then add scene. Name it as the level you want, level zero. And what's important, Remove all the properties to save be over here. You have to keep only the active section plane. This way, when you, when you 
switch between the scenes only the section will change okay and then if you want to um, choose another one just double click on it and then add another pin call it l1 again you have to verify that you remove all the v's from camera location from hidden geometry from the visible layers because when you change the scene you don't want it to change let's do another one the x this is actually like a fake sec fake section active cut and then i call it x okay and then i undo another section for the sec okay and then i call it sec okay and that's it you see i connected between the scenes and the sections now i can uh, disable or turn off the display section plans and then right now I don't need to touch those buttons again when I want to switch between sections I just pick the scene I want you see level 0 and I see level 0 if I want to go up I can use page up or page down and then take my uh, section up you see I can cut it wherever I want it's much more uh, professional when you work with customers or with clients and you can pick the section you want you don't have to change the scene you see but if you want to change uh, to save views let's say for renders you can let's pick the x tab now when you choose the render scenes let's say we place the camera right over here then when you add the scene you have to verify that you name it let's say view one and then remove the active section plan and save only camera location and shadow setting okay let's remove this one so this will save the, this is the properties for the view if you want to save another one let's say this one the front view then again tick on the view one and then add another section and call it let's say view two now look when you are when you toggle between the views only the camera and the shadow setting change but when you click on the one of those uh, scenes let's say l0 or l1 you see the camera doesn't move only the section move okay it was a quick video and i really hope you, that you enjoyed it and that you understand everything if there's something that you didn't understand just leave me comments on the video and that's it i really hope you liked it wishing you a good week i'll see you in the next video bye bye for now and good luck